Hello everyone. Today we are here with the complete roadmap to become a Python developer in 2023. Before we start, if you enjoy watching tech videos and are new to our channel, then hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to stay updated with the latest technological trends in the market. Today, we are surrounded by many applications from the news we read in the morning to listening to late night music. These applications execute using a simple programming language. Today, we will explore one of those programming language and that is python if we talk about python then python's flexibility simplicity and versatility find its way into these remarkable applications python is used to create several commonplace applications including spotify and netflix and python is the world's most widely used and fastest growing programming language and not just among software developers but also among mathematicians scientists accountants network engineers and even young children they are very familiar with programming language python many tedious processes such as copying files and directories renaming them and uploading them to a server can be automated with python scripts therefore a variety of professionals and software developers use python to automate processes and improve their lives you now need to understand the importance of a python developer and the python programming language today developers are ruling our world so let's get started with who is a good python developer to be a good python developer you will need more than just technical knowledge and the following skills the first skill you need to know is you should have a problem solving mindset the second skill you need is strong communication skills you will need to communicate project requirements and features to your team this will also help you write better documentation the third skill you should have is an eagerness to learn new tools and libraries then you should have knowledge of how things work internally and definitely strong technical skills and if we talk about the average salary for a python developer in india that is rupees 8 lakh 25000 and 593 rupees per year as stated by indeed.com today at 21st december 2022 and the average salary for a python developer in the united states is 1 lakh 6649 dollars per year and now we will start with what python is so python is a general purpose interpreted programming language due to its extreme versatility python is one of the most sought after programming languages by data scientists software engineers and web developers python can be used in a wide range of disciplines including data analysis machine learning artificial intelligence web development web scraping competitive programming and much more unsurprisingly given its versatility python became the most sought after language to learn in 2021 there are specific employment positions and sectors that a python developer can pursue depending on their skill set that is web developers software engineers data analysts data scientists automation testers etc these are all python developers and the next question that arises in your mind would be why to become a python developer when there are so many other programming languages that may be learned let's look at some of the benefits of being a python developer you should start your programming career by learning python for several reasons first reason should be python has a basic syntax and is easily readable second should be it makes the language easy to learn for both beginner and intermediate programmers python is a multi purpose programming language with many practical libraries and outstanding analytical capabilities a programmer can devote more time to development due to these features of python then the third reason should be python enables programmers to write programs with fewer lines of code python programs for instance run slower than java programs but they also need less time to create because the python code is 3 to 5 times shorter than the java code and the next reason should be all operating systems can utilize python for free because it is open source software the next is it is the most productive language then we have python has a wide range of applications and 
Python has a vast and active community and it has hundreds of built-in libraries and frameworks. Now moving on, Python is used by numerous companies like Google, Facebook, Netflix, IBM and much more. These companies use Python to develop software and use them for machine learning, web development and many more. You can see how beneficial learning Python is. Now to become a Python developer, we will begin by studying the fundamentals of Python programming. To master the fundamentals of Python, you should study these subjects. Starting with basic syntax, then you should have a hands on any code editor like Vim, Jupyter Notebook, Google Colab or Atom. Then you should study the indentation of Python language. Then you should move to loops and logical operators. Then we have data types and variables, then operators, then strings and numbers, and then we have conditional statements and type conversions. And at last, we have functions and built-in functions. Now, we shall go to Python's most crucial section, that is data structures and algorithms. They serve as any computer language's building blobs. DSA is a requirement for both coding and software development interviews. To master the DSA, you should learn about these subjects, starting with array and linked list, then we should learn binary search trees and recursion. Then we should learn Python lists and tuples. Then dictionaries, sets and slicing. Then we have stacks and queues. After that we should learn hashing, hash tables and graph traversing. Then we should learn about sorting algorithms, divide and conquer algorithms and many more algorithms. Then we should have a hands on dynamic programming. After finishing the Python DSA, we will move towards some of the advanced concepts in Python and the relevant topics to learn in the advanced topics are we will start with object oriented programming, then we should learn the methods and then we should learn functional programming and then we have the most popular element that is inheritance. Then we have decorators in Python and then we have lambda functions we should learn how to use lambda functions in this language then we have classes and then the simple and regular expressions after having expertise in core python concepts you should learn github do you know that practically all hiring managers request a github profile these days it is an environment to develop your online portfolio and highlight your abilities a github profile makes you more distinctive from your competition. Recruiters will first look at your GitHub profile when you apply for competitive positions like data scientist, ML engineer, web developer or Python developer. It gives potential employers an impression of your coding expertise, problem solving techniques and problem solving philosophy. You have a greater chance of standing out if your GitHub profile is up to date and well maintained. Without a question, knowing how to use GitHub will help you succeed in your career. GitHub is a platform millions of developers use to exchange their code and create online portfolios. After mastering the above concepts, you can choose a career path that interests you as a Python developer. And the career paths we have as is web development as a Python developer. Then we have machine learning or artificial intelligence expert or engineer. Then we have the field of data science. In data science, you can pursue data scientist or data analysis. Then we have automation, testing and web scraping. So these are the career paths you can choose after learning these concepts of Python. And if we talk about data science, it was rated one of the hottest fields of the 21st century by Harvard Business Review. Data science is an interdisciplinary field that employs arithmetic, statistics and algorithms to extract useful information from data. A data scientist is a professional with expertise in data analysis and interpretation. These data scientists assist firms to make better decisions and run more efficiently by utilizing their data science expertise. To start a career in data science, you should learn the following things. Starting with libraries such as Matplotlib, Pandas, NumPy and Seaborn. 
then you should learn statistical analysis. The science of statistics focuses on creating and researching strategies for gathering, analyzing, interpreting, and presenting empirical data. Then you should have a hands-on probability and mathematical formulas. Probability is a way to gauge how likely something is to happen. Then we should have a hands-on data visualization. Data visualization is integrating different data sets and creating a visual display of the results using diagrams, charts and graphs. Then we should have a hands-on data manipulation, data analysis and data interpretation. And if we talk about database management, then we should learn about databases which are necessary to store and analyze data using programs like Teradata, Microsoft SQL Server, Oracle, Database and MySQL. Once you have mastered these skills, you will have various careers opportunities as a data science expert. And the average salary for a data scientist reported by Indeed.com at 21st December 2022 is $97,148. US dollars. Now moving on web development as a career. If you want to pursue web development, then you should have a good grasp of two frameworks, starting with Django and Flask. If we talk about Django, then it's a high level web development framework mostly utilized by businesses and startups. You can utilize a variety of databases including PostgreSQL, MySQL, SQLite and Oracle. And it adheres to the MVC design. It could take two to five weeks to learn if you are a beginner and unfamiliar with authentication. URL routing, API and models, but these take your time to be patient. Read through some of the additional resources and comprehend every line of code. You will get a grasp of it. You will gradually and thoroughly comprehend everything. And one of the simplest frameworks to learn in Python is Flask. Flask is appropriate for creating straightforward, lightweight web applications. Although it lacks Django strength and breadth, it offers capabilities like support for developing REST APIs and unit testing. It will take 1 to 1.5 weeks to learn Flask. And then you should have a good command or front-end technologies that is HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And if you want to build a GUI based web app, then you should have Kinter, MVC and MVT architecture, which stands for Model View Control and Model View Template. You should have hands on these technologies. And if we talk about the average salary for a Python web developer, that is $106,649 US dollars per year in the United States, as stated by Indeed.com. And if we move towards the career path, in machine learning and artificial intelligence. Then, one of the industries with the most rapid growth is machine learning. If you are interested in pursuing a career in ML and AI, you should learn the following things. Starting with apply maths and stats. Then, you should have hands on machine learning algorithms. And then, you should learn libraries such as scikit-learn, TensorFlow, and Keras. Then, you should have hands on prediction model, then neural networks for deep learning and then the natural language processing. And after these skills, you can easily pursue a career in machine learning and artificial intelligence. And if we talk about the average salary for a machine learning engineer, that is $1,7856 US dollar per year in the United States, as stated by Indeed.com on 21st December 2022. And if we move about the career in web scraping and automation testing, we have things to consider while learning web scraping and automation testing. Although Python comes with its own set of test automation frameworks, a Python developer should be familiar with this concept for better understanding. Test automation enhances your work as a Python developer. As Python developer is responsible for debugging errors, tools like Selenium test complete etc will help increase efficiency and speed and things to consider while learning web scraping and automation testing are you should start with web scraping using beautiful soup and request libraries then 
we should have a hands on selenium web driver then we can learn selenium grid and then we should have a hands on computer vision using opencv library after these skills you can pursue a career in web scraping and automation testing if we talk about the average salary for an automation engineer that is dollar 94211 us dollars per year in the united states as stated by the indeed.com on 21st December 2022. Now, to pursue any career, you should have your projects in your portfolio. Using Python to build interactive projects will help you develop useful coding skills. Your self-confidence will increase as you work on your projects, which will also help you in your comprehension of all the programming ideas. Technical expertise will be used to create an appealing portfolio. It is the finest technique to demonstrate your coding abilities to potential employers. Everyone could master the programming language we discussed for different job roles today. But the real deal is to implement your learnings. As you enter an interview, picture yourself stating, I have a respectable portfolio of projects. I learned about the company's future endeavors aligning with my goals. Now, who could possibly reject that, right? In particular, businesses that want to think creatively and break convention to create something remarkable will never say no to such candidates. And with that, we have come to the end of this session. And I have an insightful for you guys. If you are aiming to get certified in Python programming and want to build a Python software development career, in that case, you can check the Python certification course by Simply Learn, which will open the doors for the best career opportunities. And to find the details of the Python certification course, you can check the link in the description box below. And it could be the ideal solution to help you build your career in the right direction. Well, that's a wrap for this video. And I hope the video was informative. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.